In this video, I'll talk briefly about data formats and variable types in Stata. The first thing you should know is that Stata datasets are saved in a format called DTA. So any dataset ending in .dta can be opened and saved in Stata. In addition to the native DTA files, Stata is also able to import datasets from other programs, like Excel, SAS, and datasets in TXT format, which is just plain text. However, any dataset you save in Stata, no matter what the original file type is, will have a DTA format. Talking specifically about variables, any given variable in Stata will have one of two types, numeric or string, which are basically text and numbers. Let's take a look at an example and some sample data about countries. Here's a very small data set where you have the name of a country, whether it's an English speaker or not, the country's population, the continent where the country is located, the GDP, which if you look and on the bottom of the slide is in, it's, it's GDP per capita in current US dollars and the life expectancy. That is to say how many years on average does a person live in this country. So here in this data set, country and continent would be strings and everything else would be data of numeric type. However, within the numeric type, there's still two different types of data. Let's take a look at those. So within numeric, you still have categorical and continuous variable. Going back to your example here, continuous would be GDP, life expectancy, population, and that's it. Even though English speaker look like, looks like it's a continuous variable, it is not. And then you have the categorical variables. Here would be continent and English speaker because zero means that it's a category of no and one is a category of yes. So if you have Australia, for example, is an English speaker. So we have one for yes and Argentina does not speak English as a native language. So we have zero for no. And the continent, it's, this is actually a label for an underlying number, underlying code. So let's reinforce then the data types. Country is a string, English speaker and continent are categorical variables and population, GDP, and life expectancy are continuous variables. Also note right here in life expectancy, on row six, this little dot here represents a missing value. So in Stata, missing values are represented by a period. Note that the small data set that you can see now can be downloaded in this lesson. So go ahead and do that if you haven't done it yet, and let's analyze it in Stata. So here's our data set, country small, just double click it and it's going to open a Stata window. You can also see the command you could use here. Use the folder where it's located, mine is located in my project, and then the name of the file. Here are variables. We have six variables, as you have seen. So let's use the command browse to take a look at this data set. And you can see it's just the same data set we were using before. Note that here on continent, you have these names in, in blue because they're just labels. But as you click them, if you look here on top, you see a number. So South America is one, Central America is two, North America is three and so on. So you have seven different continents and seven different numbers. And the reason why I wanna do that is because Stata is going to analyze numerical data much easier, much better than it analyzes strings. Let me take you back to the main window and show you that. So let's try to summarize two variables, country, which is a string, and continent. So note that country cannot be analyzed because you can't get a mean from a string or a standard deviation from a string. You can do that for a continent, even though it doesn't make a lot of sense. But having numbers there could be very useful in some occasions. Also, we have English speaker. Let's summarize that. And that's actually useful because then you see the mean is 0.5, minimum zero, maximum one, of course, because it's a dummy variable. Zero meaning no, one meaning yes, the country speaks English. So if you go back here, you can note that one, two, three, four countries speak English and four countries don't. So that makes much more sense to us now. And let me introduce you to a command called codebook. And let's use codebook for both country and continent. 
and it shows you the type of data that you have. So country is a string, and this is the variable storage, which is not very relevant to you. But what this is saying is that it's a string, and the maximum, the largest string has 14 units. So I think it's Australia, sorry, United Kingdom. See, one, two, three, four, and so on, up to 14. So this is why it's stored as str14. And it's saying the variable has embedded blanks. And continent, oh, we have no missing values. See, this is saying zero out of eight. And continent, it's a, a numeric variable of the type byte. It ranges from one through seven. It has seven unique values in eight occasions because they think you only have uh, here South America's showing up twice and no missing units. So let's try codebook for life exp because I want to show you the missing value. And here it is, you have one missing value. Also it's saying here, there's one out of eight missing units and the range is, goes from 61.6 .6 to 82.3. It's a numeric variable of the type float. And that's all for now. We could certainly dig much deeper in this topic, but this information would not be so relevant to you at this point. So all you need to know on this is, as I said before, that the three main types of variables are non-numeric, known as strings, and numeric of two different types, regular and categorical. Also, if you want more information, make sure you read the text below the video.